everyone. Today I am going to do my top 10 favourite spring lipsticks for you because um, I've had a lot of requests about my top MAC lipsticks or my favourite spring items so I thought I'd just break it down into um, favourite products in one place so my favourite lipsticks and then I'll possibly do a um, favourite spring eyeshadows for you if you would like that. If you would then comment down below and let me know on all my social media sites, Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. Let me know if you want me to do that one as well. So I might as well start with the one that I've got on my lips now. And this is the Rimmel London Apocalypse Lip Lacquer. And this is in the colour Luna. Um, I saw Zoella rave on about this last summer, I think. And I went out and bought it straight away. Um, and I think it was at like the sort of beginning of the summer. So then by the time it was sort of mid to end summer I had found other lipsticks that I liked um, as well and then I sort of forgot about this and then I was rummaging through a load of my drawers recently and I found this and I was like oh I used to love this the only thing I don't like about it is that it's really really liquidy and when you first put it on it can become streaky so you've got to sort of blot it and then apply it again but I just think this is a really, really pretty colour. Um, it's a really soft, peachy colour, which I really, really like. The next one I'm going to go for is a Topshop lipstick, and this is Ooh La La. This is sort of a similar colour to the Apocalypse one, but I just think it's so pretty. Like, it's got that tiny little hint of pink in it, and um, it, it looks different on your lips each time you wear it. Like, sometimes it can look very pinky or very colourly or very orange and I just really really like it, it's very smooth on the lips um, so it doesn't dry out. The next lipstick that I have been loving and you probably know about it already is Love Lawn by MAC. This again changes the colour depending on the day you're wearing it, sometimes it can look very very pale pink and other times it can look quite bright pink. Um, and very shiny and other times it can not look as shiny and a little bit matte um, and I really really like that because then it doesn't feel like you're wearing the same lipstick each time and as long as you like everything that it looks like then I don't see the problem in it you know some people don't like that but I do the next one I'm going to go for is a nude lipstick because um, everyone needs a nude and nudes are nice in summer to wear, especially if you want to go for quite a natural look. And this is Hue by MAC. Um, have, I've had this for ages now. I've had this for over a year, I think. And um, it just never lets me down when I want a nude colour. Um, it doesn't make my lips look flaky or anything like that. I find sometimes with um, very creamy lipsticks that they get stuck in like the dryness of my lips um, like the flakiness of my lips and can look really really bad but I don't find this one does that so I'm really happy with this one the next one that I'm going to talk about is Max Creme de la Femme and this is a frost lipstick um, it's quite a purpley pink um, which I quite like because I don't like I don't want to wear a purple lipstick because I just don't think it would suit me um, whereas I think lilacs are in at the moment, like a lilac lipstick, but I just don't feel like it suits me too well. And um, I've been loving wearing my um, matte pink and matte purple eyeshadows. And I wanted to wear like a purpley pinky lipstick with that. And I find this goes really, really well with it. It looks really nice on the lips. Again, it sort of changes each time you wear it. Sometimes it can look very dark and sometimes it can look very pinky. The next lipstick that I have been loving is Please Me by MAC. Um, these, most of these aren't nude lipsticks. Um, I just really really like them and wear them all the time. This is a matte. Um, it comes out quite dark um, on, when you swatch it but when it's on the lips I think it just looks a little bit lighter and um, I love the way it looks especially with my matte pink eyeshadows and stuff like that or just um, a natural eyeshadow and then this is just your lips but better sort of colour um, and I just really like the way it looks on my lips and I, I feel like I look quite sophisticated when I wear this lipstick actually. The next lipstick is a NARS Satin Lip Pencil in Torres Del Paine. 
This is quite similar to the Apocalypse one, except it's obviously a pencil. Um, so it's less um, liquidy, a little bit more matte, um, stays on the lips a little bit better, and it has a sort of slight pinky tone to it rather than the Apocalypse one. It just get, it's a it's a different finish, which um, I like the option of both finishes. So. Um, the NARS one is a little bit paler. The next lipstick is out of my Sleek Lip 4 lipstick palette in Showgirl. And the one that I really like at the moment is called Dancer. And it's this one here in the corner. Um, it's quite a vibrant pink. It's a little bit similar to Please Me. But um, I find this one is a little bit more pinky and less bluey toned um, than Please Me. And I just really, really like it, and it's very creamy on the lips, and it's handy to carry around this four lipstick palette. So I just really like that. The next one is one that you've probably heard me talk about all the time, um, is Custer Sheet by MAC. It's a beautiful coral colour. It has like a um, blue tone in it, which I really, really like. Um, I think it, it looks good on like practically every skin tone. Um, especially on pale or tan skins I think it just looks really nice and it can be a day lipstick or it can be like a night lipstick um, I just think it looks really really pretty with a smoky eye I don't know why I just really really like it and I always try and convince people to wear this lipstick when I'm doing their makeup I'm just like try it it's orange but try it it's brilliant you know? And the last lipstick is a my going out sort of lipstick. Most of these are sort of lipsticks I wear in the daytime um, and a couple of them I would wear in the night. But this one is definitely a night one and um, if I'm feeling brave enough I'd wear it in the day. And it's Impassioned by MAC. And this is an amplified lipstick. It's just a gorgeous colour. I can't... Oh, it's just so, so pretty and it makes your lips look really nice and big and hydrated and I just really really think it's an amazing lipstick um, I did my research on it before I bought it and yeah everyone is impressed by this lipstick um, it's, just the, it's just the most beautiful raspberry summery pink colour if there was a colour that I had to use to describe summer or represent summer I would definitely choose this it's beautiful so that is it for my top 10 favorite spring lipsticks I really hope you enjoy this video if you'd like me to do another one in the series say eyes or um, foundation or blusher stuff like that then let me know in the comments below or on my social media sites they will all be linked in the down bar as well um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other videos that I put up. If you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like me to do, then let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. So that is it and I'll see you very soon. Love you, bye! Hello everyone! Today I'm going to do a quick haul of some things that I've collected because I've collected a lot. Especially today. I went shopping today with my friend Emily. So, um... I'll start with the things that I'm wearing, shall I? I bought uh, three midi rings. 